A wiki is like a group scratch paper. Everyone can use the same form instead of downloading and uploading each other's comments. To create a wiki, go to the Tools and select Wikis. Create new wiki. Insert the name and the instructions. Open to editing means that other students will be able to edit each other's comments. This is good for a study guide because they'll, they'll be able to correct information that someone else got wrong. Uh, for other activities, if you don't want students to be able to touch each other's work, you can click this button to make it closed. Um, you'll also want to be able to make comments if they want to comment and tell another student that they changed something that they um, that another student may have gotten wrong or a student may have a question about the study guide. Maybe a student missed something. They can ask you or another student a question about what's going on in class. Uh, you can decide whether this is for grading or not for grading. Um, I think most instructors want everything to be some kind of grade. Uh, you can decide how many points or how you want to figure that. Um, you can select a due date. You can add a rubric. Um, the rubric can be based on their participation. Um, click Submit. This is just like creating a blog or a discussion question or anything else. Okay. Submit. And now your students will come here to the class study guide after class each day and they will write their notes. And the next person that comes will review that the first student's notes and add in more comments until all of them have fleshed this out and asked questions and done a lot of the discussion and studying outside of class. It's like creating a virtual study group, but the, the teacher will be able to monitor this so that you will know exactly where your students are in the process. And if there's something that you need to review, you can do that. You'll know that the students missed something and so you can reteach or review or emphasize something in the class.